And you know, it's another thing I wanted to clarify as well. You know, uh, we know, you know what the Bible says. You know, you know what God says. His people who are called by His name shall turn from their wicked ways and repent, that He will hear from heaven and heal their lands. You see, God, you know, on His throne, you know, He's waiting, but He's not waiting for with wrath for intentions. You know what I'm saying? He's not waiting to punish people. He's not waiting for a mistake so he can check or correct people. You know, that's not why he's waiting. God is waiting on the throne for for his people, you know, uh, the, the, the nations and, you know, sinners and people to repent. So he can perform tons of miracles, wonders, and, and things he wanted to do just waiting. Blessings. Pretty much the blessing. You know, he's, God is eager to bless. You know what I'm saying? That's the only, that's what he'd be waiting for. He's he not evil at all. God not waiting in order to, you know, you know what I'm saying, destroy people. He said, you know, he, he's not, you know, he has no pleasure in anybody perishing. You know what I'm saying? He desires nobody to go to hell, you know? So that's, I wanted to clarify that, you know, but God be waiting on his throne He not waiting with those intentions of You know causing destruction or anything You know God's, God waits to bless He needs people to repent And turn from sin so he can bless You know with tons of different miracles and blessings And things that he has just waiting And he just need to be able to release the blessings You know to humanity But first it has to accept him like you know, turn his heart to God. Then he can, you know, release blessings that he is already, you know, wanting to release, like eager. That's what he waiting for. You know, he's waiting to bless, you know. And he waits and he knows that people know what they have to do to be safe. That's what he wants. He waits and he listens, you know, to hear people repent and to turn their hearts all the way to God and stuff, you know, that's what he's, that what God, that's what God, God is good, like all the time, you know, but when it comes to wrath, you know, the wrath comes as if, you know, it's like, for instance, an example, uh, like say if somebody has, you know, three kids or something, or two kids or whatever, and one other child bullying or you know you know doing just 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 being you know just you know just being doing evil stuff to the other child you know just you know excessively and all that then the way a parent would correct that child you know they love all the children equally you know but you see, like I mean, it's like that's what a raffle would call. It's like a parent would correct the other child, the other ch you know what I'm saying, the child that's doing all that. That's the kind of situation. It ain't like God just pick people out. Or say, nah, and those he chastened. I mean, those he chastened are those he loved. You know. So, uh, but that's any raffle in the equation. That's what it's like. You know. But that's what it is. God God don't wait to destroy people now. Nah, he waits to bless people. You know. That's his intention. It's consistent with the Bible. It's scripture.